Good morning, everybody. And we have some friends here today, and they really are friends. As a matter of fact, I've known one of them for a long time. And before we came on, we were just talking about her kids can't be that old. And yet, apparently they are. <laughs> <laughs> so we have friends here from Arbor. And we also have friends here, we, we are talking about a product and that's our sponsor for all the free events this month. And that's Tover. And what the product is, is Tover Toffel, which is Toffel in Deutsch, in, in, in Dutch language, means table. But it's not just a table. It's really, really, really exciting stuff. So I want to introduce Brandy. Brandy is with Arbor Company. And um, Brandy, we've known each other for, ooh, since you were real young. Real young. I think we were just figuring out maybe 19 years. Yeah, about 19 years. Um, yeah, I was about 12. I, yeah, I was <laughs> not really young then. But I, you know, that's when I started doing consult consultation with Arbor and started working with their skill development and knowledge development in the world of dementia. Um, because tell us a little bit about Arbor Company. So if you would, tell us a bit because, and then you're going to introduce the teammates that you have here. Because Arbor is a management company that actually provides support and, and guidance and lots of care for people who are caring for people. Yeah, thank you, Tipa. Um, so the Arbor Company is a senior living management company. Um, we currently have around 50 communities in 11 states um, and have been in business for um, over 30 years. Um, and as Tipa mentioned, um, back in about 2004, um, she came on board in a partnership to become a dementia consultant um, for us and helped us develop the dementia, uh, dementia care training that we still utilize today in the Tipa skills and the PPA and hand under hand and the gym levels. And so, um, and today also I have with me two team members. This is Cindy Moore and Christina from one of our communities, Eden Terrace. And so and I'm thankful they could join us today. And that's South Carolina. And it, Eden Terrace is where Brandy started off with, with Arbor. Close in the, in the South Carolina region at the Gardens at Eastside. Yeah. So we have two communities in South Carolina. Um, yep. And the Gardens at Eastside is one of those. And I began working there at Arbor um, 20 years ago. So I've celebrated 20 years with Arbor and began my career there and, uh, and then have moved into um, different roles at the Arbor Company, where I now serve um, as a decimal leader of engagement for resident engagement for, for our company. So Cindy, Support tell us team. about you background wise. Well, um, my uh, background is um, social work actually. And I got a degree in social work and worked in nursing homes as the social worker there. Took a little time off to raise the children, came back and, and started with Arbor 10 years ago and started as an engagement coordinator and moved into being the director and enjoyed my 10 years here with these great 109 little folks here and um, really enjoy working with them and wouldn't, these are my family. They, they really are. So I, I don't want to leave ever. <laughs> Fix your room, move in. It'll all yeah, work. I already out. picked my room out. It's right near my office. <laughs> there you go. Oh boy, you'll be fun. You'll be coming to the office day after day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What's your charge of bingo? <laughs> there you go. Right. That. <laughs> Sabina, how about you? Um, well, I my background is actually in teaching. So I was a teacher in the public schools for eight years and um, was just looking for something a little bit different. Um, and this job kind of through friends, through mutual friends, we discovered that um, that that was something that I'd be interested in. And I've been here, oh gosh, a year, almost a year and a half, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, so I, I just, I have, my background is early childhood, threes, fours, little, little people. And so, um, and so I find that a lot of those skills are quite transferable <laughs> into our, especially our memory care unit. So, um, I've really enjoyed being here at Eden Terrace. Cool. So what we have is we have a variety of folks. Now, the reason we're getting together is that you all have actually got some Tover product and the product is the Toffel, which is the table. So tell us a little bit about Brandy. How did you guys get involved with doing the Tover Toffel? Yeah. So 
a little over a year ago, um, one of our owner investors actually had come to us and had heard about a different product um, in this space and had was asking us to do a little research and to, to just see what this was about and possibly bring it to one of our communities. And so we sort of began that quest to do that. And in, in that process, um, we weren't a real big fan of, of the first product that they were asking us to look at. So I said, but let me do some research. Let us find, let us find something that, that might be similar that we feel like would align more with what we felt like would be beneficial for our residents and our memory care. Um, someone else in our company had had a connection um, to Tober already too. So when we were talking about this, it sort of came up. And then secondly, um, the community Eden Terrace, their executive director, Cindy Hughes, she was attending a conference one day and the Tober was being talked about there. And so she's texting me from the conference. Oh my gosh, have you ever heard of Tober? This is so amazing. I want this, um, et cetera. And so I told her, I was like, you won't believe, you know, just what all's in play right now, of how, how this is, you know, coming. And we have people who are, reaching out to me now saying, hey, we have to find out about this. And so we set out on that quest to learn more about Tober and um, really fell in love with them from, from their demo on. And so we decided to work on a partnership with them to begin a pilot. So at, in our company, we like to pilot products, you know, first to just make sure that, that those are gonna be great products and something that we feel like will be a good benefit. And so we began a pilot in 2022 with five of our different locations. And Eden Terrace was, was one of those communities who, who started that pilot with us. So, Cool. So uh, I think it was about a year ago, we did, uh, we were working with an adult day program and we got a sample and we were doing some trial as well. And we did some videos. And so for those of you who are out there, uh, we'll hook those TikTok videos in, but we'll hook them into another system. Matthew knows how to do that. And you'll be able to see some of the demos that we put together and, and sort of some of the info that we put together on using Tover and the Tover TOFL, particularly with a population of folks who um, all different ability states. And so I'm curious what you guys have found out in the time since you've had it. So Cindy, Christina, what kind of things do you want to share out about what you've experienced? Because I can share what happened at our place, but since you're here, you share what happened at your place. Uh, so uh, I've gotten to use the Tover quite a bit because I have spent a lot of time in our memory care unit and um, we do we have a Tover event that we do every week and it's more for our low sensory um, residents who need something a little bit more hands on a little bit more physical. And so um, that's been very yes, <laughs> a lot of this motion yes. <laughs> um, that's a really positive for them because we've got a whole table full of people doing what Tifa's doing. <laughs> A lot of this. So, so what's really cool about the Tover Toffel, I mean, I will just add in, it has so many different activities and games and so many different level yeah. abilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you could work with somebody who's Sapphire, I mean, one of us in a good moment, or Diamond or Emerald or Amber or Ruby. And pearls will do the watch thing and maybe even get engaged that way. And so it allows you to put a projection onto a tabletop, but you interact with the projection. And that's the super cool part is it it's graded and you can upgrade, downgrade, change it up. And it has different purposes. And there's so many, they have developed so many of these different things because they are based on research feedback on what works and what is engaging and what engages in what way, what things are calming, what are exciting, and who might you engage with what. And so, Christina, that's what you guys are discovering is how cool that is. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm finding too that um, it's fun to kind of go through the levels and sort of we've built sort of programs where we'll say, okay, we start with a level one, you know, we get everybody kind of engaged and bring them to the table. And oh, look, if I if I touch the table, something happens, you know, we get engaged that way. And then we say, okay, well, that's enough of that. We'll go on to something else. And we'll bring it up a level. And and it's really fun just to kind of watch, you know, what everybody's interests are, because some of them are, some of them are quite interested in, um, you know, we've got um, the puzzle exactly. on there. Right. Yeah, we've, we've got um, history, there's, there's travel, there's a little bit of everything, something for everybody. So Puzzle. um, put puzzles together. Yes. You can yes. move flowers around, you can make them grow. Yes. And oh my gosh, this week they have Easter eggs on there. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just saw that. Yeah. It makes <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's, it, yeah, it's just been a real joy to use. So Cindy, how about you? What would you say? Well, um, I noticed that some of our residents who don't engage in very much of anything um, light up, focus, um, want to know what what that all those lights and, and things are on the table. And then they, we, we might help them put their hand up on the table and start um, rolling things around. And then they're just amazed at what is happening right there in front of them. And we've seen people that don't interact, don't talk very much, don't, don't, um, we, we're not even sure they're in there, you know, all of a sudden they're definitely in there, you know, and they're participating, the they're smiling. Open. Yes, that it's opening up. Yes. So, mm -hmm. and the families, um, I've been over when the families are standing there watching, thinking mom and daddy don't, don't know anything anymore and they don't understand their environment and they, they look at them and they're just, shocked and and pleased and surprised and and loving what is happening and thrilled that we have something like that in our building for their parents and it's it's just a connection that we have with the resident with the families with the staff because the staff are sitting on the corners cheering them on engaging and and talking to them about um you know what what is that what do you see there's a bug look at that you know so there's excitement and um they, so, they come alive. They yes, really do. I, I'm curious if you guys have had, because what we found is the kids will come and visit. And when the kids, oh yeah. Get, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so now we have the whole family. Instead family. of, yes, yes. Lives, we got a grandson over there lives. that's very much yeah. interested in it. Yes. So uh -huh. Intergenerational uh -huh. fun. And yes. families, something they could do rather than sit and not know what to do. What, what to do. Yeah. Or dad's not really that active anymore mm -hmm. and it's right. also a thing that brings kids I want to go back and and play with grandma with the with the thing that you do you know the one where you move the whatchamacallits right, you know right, right. Mm -hmm. learning language too so it's also a learning tool on the other side so it's kind of it's kind of a cool way to do language in the midst of doing activities because it's yes. mm -hmm. If you can get him, did you get him? Oh, okay. So that's 10. Now we're looking for 11. Anybody know C11? Where's 11? Mm -hmm. I mean, so there's so many opportunities because it's not just entertainment. Right. It also oh, yeah. has this brain activity component. Um, and, and that's not by accident. I mean, that's developed by the company to have value. Yeah. That's so, one of the things I love about this. So they say, these games are specifically developed for um, people with dementia. They are not, they were not originally children's games. They were not originally a video game. This is just for this audience. And especially in the lower levels, there's no point system. There's not really even always a goal. You know, I think about the leaves um, game that, I, that we love so much and there's leaves all over the table. And all you, all you do is you just brush the leaves. And when you move your hand, the leaves move. And you know, there might be a ladybug in there once or twice you can play as long as you want, you know, and, and that can be really calming. So I, I love that aspect too, that there's the different options. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd love to say here too, that that's one of the reasons that Arbor has chosen Tober is because it was specifically de designed for adults living with dementia. It wasn't a product that was made for children that was then adapted. tried to be modified <laughs> right. and yeah. adapted right. for, mm -hmm. for senior adults, because there's a difference and you can tell what that difference is in those products mm -hmm. um, for sure. And, and that is for sure one of the reasons, um, you know, that we, we chose this product and how beneficial it is. And we love that it promotes that social connection for folks and the variety of those games and how some are just sensory, some have purpose, some have goals. There's really something for everyone. Yeah. So Brandy, you've had it in use in five communities for a year mm -hmm. now. What are you determining? Yeah, so again, through seeing all the positive benefits, some that we've talked about already um, here, just, oh my goodness, staff and engagement with residents and family visits uh, has been a huge, a huge thing too. So we, we definitely are on board. We're sold. We love this product. Um, we are, I'm, a, I'm very passionate and on a mission to, to try to get Tover Toffel 
in all of our communities um, that we have. And I'm very excited that this year we will have Tover Tafel in 19 of our memory care neighborhoods. Yes, I know. So I'm it's very, very excited about that. I mean, because it's not a cheap product, but it was not designed to be a cheap product, but it is a vital piece of schedule and time. And it's a resource. And, and that's what's really exciting. It's an, a relatively easy to use resource. Once you get the yeah. basics of, of control, it becomes something that could be used off hours. You know, yeah. that yeah. time when, yeah. you know, so. not the usual time that we do something, but somebody really needs something to do during mm. this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think too, so a story that I have from one of our communities that has it just in talking about that, one of our caregivers, so one of our communities that's in um, Chicago, Illinois, she was telling me that they have a resident that like every evening that's become their routine and like she looks forward to it and they literally spend time at the table and that helps this resident wind down and get ready for bed. And she was like, what a difference it makes to play, play the table. Yeah. each evening with this resident engaging them um, and then it it makes the transition of being able to go to bed so smooth so I love hearing those stories of people using it at all times it's accessible in our communities it's a place that's welcoming right in right in the neighborhood it's in an open area where and anyone can anyone can join and play staff residents families and it's so it's so user-friendly yeah. And so one of the things that we did, and, and we have some videos, is we moved the table out of the way and used the floor. Have y'all done that sometimes where we're working on floor activities and feet activities rather than hand activities? <laughs> I, I have pulled it out to try it. And the day that I tried it, um, we have it in our dining room. And so we needed a mop. <laughs> so we didn't quite, didn't quite make it all the way there. But um, but yes, we have several residents that um, get really excited, especially there's a soccer game on there. And so I'm really, you know, that's, that's one of my top, top things to try is the soccer on the floor, actually on the floor. So the floor. yeah, because we played with it a little bit in that we had a population that we were interested in, in trying out both upper body, lower body, total body kind of things. And so we had people sitting in chairs, but using their feet and they were using them for something other than just walking or you know kicking a real ball which can get a little bit um interesting sometimes mm -hmm. yes yeah, absolutely <laughs> yeah <laughs> or throwing a ball which can get a little bit interesting Too much <laughs> oh yes well and this makes me think of too the conversation we were having yesterday about this every single time I turn that tober on for our scheduled um tober time on on Tuesday mornings um, we have therapists, occupational therapists and, um, and physical therapists who walk through to go pick up a resident and every single time they are drawn to that table and they go, oh, what is this? This is so cool. And, and they are so excited about the therapy potentials. I mean, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Cool. Yeah. It's staff are so drawn to it, just as much yeah, as the residents are. are. Like really we, are. Have, yes. we really have a ball with it. I find that there's oftentimes the staff will be gathered around the table. Um, I've shared this story a few times. Uh, myself and some other colleagues, we were playing at the table, and one of my personal favorite games is whack-a-mole. I just love that. It like reminds me, it brings back memories of my childhood. I love whack-a-mole, and I'm a little competitive. And that is one of the games in the higher levels that has a goal. And so, like, we're hitting those moles and trying to get as many points as we can. Uh, we were getting ready to leave a community, and we'd already ordered an Uber to pick us up and take us to the airport. Like, we were we were literally going to miss our Uber because, like, we're not fit. We're, we can't leave until we get done with the game. So. Right. We, uh, yes, it, it it's really a lot of fun for for everybody. I've forgotten about that about you, but now I'm remembering that there is that brandy about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes. We well, love a little friendly competition. Absolutely. So we so appreciate you being willing to come on and talk about what we think is a great resource, and it's it's a product, but it's a resource, and it it provides the right setup for people to engage meaningfully in something that is enjoyable and fun, but it's also brain healthy and can be body healthy and can be socially engaging. So Definitely. it ticks all our boxes and depending on what you choose to do with it, it brings energy up or it helps bring energy down. Absolutely. So it, it moderates. And so we are very yes. grateful for yes. all the things that Tover has put into what it is they do. And we're really grateful for Arbor for coming on and sharing. So thank you guys.
Thank you, mm -hmm. Tifa. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, for everybody out there, if you want to know more, you're curious about anything, put it, send it in, send a question. We'd be happy to respond. If you want to get up with Tover, we'll send the info on how to do that. If you want to get up with the Arbor folks, uh, we can send information on how to do that. I feel certain they have a way to do that. <laughs> and if you want to get up with us, you know what you can do. So till next time, take care with care out there, everybody. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs>